in order for scientists to find the answer to a question, they need to construct a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a way that you can test what the answer to a question is about the natural world. And so my example of a hypothesis is going to be, if I feed my plant, if I feed my plant energy drink, it will grow faster. If I feed my plant energy drink, it will grow faster. This example hypothesis is pretty good because it meets a lot of the objectives that all hypotheses or all hypothe hypotheses, sorry, all hypotheses need to meet. First of all, it's logical. Because if I drink an energy drink, I get a lot of energy. And so maybe if a plant has an energy drink, it will get a lot of energy and grow. So it's logical. Uh, it accounts for relevant information. Accounting for relevant information is basically um, checking all of the information that's already out there about your experiment and making sure that no one has already done the same experiment that you're about to try. So you need to account for relevant information. Uh, your hypothesis needs to be testable. In this case, our hypothesis is testable because we can get some energy drink and we can give it to our plant and see if it grows faster. So this one is pretty testable. And then finally, your hypothesis needs to be the simplest form of the question that you can possibly think of. And uh, our, our example here, if I feed my energy, if I feed my plant energy drink, it will grow faster. That's about as simple as it can possibly get. And so this is how you would construct a hypothesis and a few guidelines that you would need to follow when, when you're doing it.